Hey guys, so I realize it's been about two or three months now since I haven't shopped for any puzzles. I, I, I made a record there, but you know what? I figured it's, it's time to break that streak and kind of check out a few stores that I haven't been to in a while or, you know, ones that I've never actually been to and kind of see what puzzle selection they have. So the first one I want to check out is a place that a lot of you have mentioned to me. Maybe find one puzzle or two or more. No, we're going to keep it at maybe two. Maybe. And who knows, maybe after that we'll go check out another store that's in this area. I don't know yet. I'm going to try not to go too crazy, you know, but we shall see. Maybe I'll pick up a coffee, some lunch along the way. I mean, actually, no way. I'm getting a little carried away and I'm a little too excited now. Let me calm down. First things first. Let's check this out and see what they got. All right, so it's a small selection, but I am liking the price tags. It's all good, cheap stuff, but let's see what we got here. I find it interesting that they carry ebook puzzles and I, re I know you guys have mentioned this to me but look what we got here this is a 500 piece round puzzle it's the actual piece size this is interesting how much are you $4.99 for an ebook puzzle that is crazy that's a very interesting image too let's see what else they got here that's not all the same we have another 500 piece round puzzle, Votes for Women. Informational poster included. That's fun. This is pretty darn cool. I've never actually tried one of Ibu's round puzzles. I haven't even tried their 500 piece. So this is, oh, wait a minute. Berlin Life 1000 piece puzzle. This reminds me of the Venice one that I have. I love this image. Are you, how much are you? You're a higher piece count, $4.99 as well. That's awesome. And then we have this one here as well. This one's called Poet's Garden. This is another 1,000 piece puzzle. This is beautiful as well. I love this. $4.99, you can't go wrong with that price, man. That's more of the same one. That's the same 500 count round. I wish they had more of a selection with the round puzzles. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not extremely crazy about the images, but I'm, I'm eyeing that Berlin one. Let's see what else we have here. This is just a small 100 piece count puzzle. Rebel Girls from Masterpieces. The price for this is $3.99. For a buck more, you might as well get a bigger count set, but that's great for a kid. What else do we have here? We have for $4.99 a Masterpieces 1000 piece puzzle. This is Noah's, Noah's Ark. Wow, this is, these prices are insane. And that's more of the same Noah's Ark. What else do we have? This is a, another kitty puzzle, 60 pieces. It looks like you can color your pieces too. That's interesting. That's from Masterpieces Kids. We have the same round puzzle here that we saw before. I'm trying to see if there's any more of these. This is the same. That's the Berlin. Then we have these masterpiece puzzles. We have a 1000 piece cruising Route 66. Dogs and burgers. Oh yeah. That sounds good actually. I haven't had lunch yet and it's like past one o'clock. I'm gonna have to eat something soon. But this is cool. We have another masterpieces. 1,000 piece. This is one of the linen texture puzzles. This is the Mona Lisa from the Masterpieces of Art collection. That's $4.99 as well. We have this Masterpieces. I guess the artist is Dee Musso. This is one of their 300 count easy grip large piece puzzles. I'm going to show you. It looks like these all range between $3.99 and $4.99, which is a super deal. And then we have this Seek and Find, which I actually have at home. And the artist is one of our puzzle pals, Chris Bigelow, who's on Discord with us. And I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below so that you could check his other art pieces as well. And I really can't wait to work on this one at home. I, I have to get into that soon. Next here, we have another 1,000 piece puzzle from the Classic Fairy Tales collection from Masterpieces. This is Aladdin. That's fun. Look at that. Look at those colors. 
some bold looking colors there. Those are all the same back there. We have another Masterpieces puzzle from the Inside Out collection. This is called Fields Department Store. Wow, look at that, I love this. Nothing better than strolling through a department store, window shopping and whatnot. I love how you can see inside too, that's so cool. I love that, ah, that's fun, that's a little tempting, I'm gonna be honest. Check this one out. This is also from the Fairy Tales collection. This is a 1000 piece Fairyland castle. Doesn't that kind of strike you like Magic Kingdom's castle? That's really, really pretty. I love this one. Look at those colors. I mean, it could be Disney World's castle or it could very well just be my castle. I would definitely design mine to look like that. That's gorgeous. I love this image. That's also $4.99. We also have this one here from Masterpiece's Signature Collection, Series 2, Labor Day 1909. 1,000 pieces, look at that. I love this image. That water looks so refreshing too. This looks like everyone's having a good time here. I like it. That's also $4.99, not bad. I saw that one already. And then we have some of these smaller puzzles these are the 500 count this is from masterpieces as well and these kind of remind me of ones that you would probably find in like budget discount stores like dollar general and whatnot they don't necessarily carry these particular this particular brand but this is interesting how much are you 3.99 as well so this is a 500 count sweet shop we have this beautiful one here masters of photography another 500 count what is this one called this is the swiss alps 3.99 we got quite a number of them here let's see what else this is the amalfi coast we've seen this image quite a number of times we have saint basil cathedral did i say that right i think so that's awesome i wonder if the quality on these is any different considering it's different packaging and whatnot i kind of feel like this might be masterpieces like lower end if if they do have something like that may have to check these out at some point oh i found this one back there i love this one look at that that's another 500 piece from a simple living collection ice cold lemonade look at that that might very well be my daughter and i selling some lemonade for the day look at that that's beautiful i love this and $3.99 is not a bad price. What else do we have here? We have vacation time. I know it's the end of summer, but I can already, you know, feel like I need a vacation. So, you know, summer will be here before you know it. Back here, we got some more of the repeats. We got Sweet Shop again. We saw that. that. Actually, did we see this one? Yes, we did see that one. And check these out. We have some of these in like a metal tin. What brand is it? This is world's smallest 1,000 piece puzzle. <gasps> no way. That's $4.99. What's the brand on this? Masterpieces. This seems very interesting. What images do we got here? And look at the size of that. That's super tiny. It's like the tip of the end of my finger. I can't seem to find the name of this particular image, but let's see what else we have. We got that car one. We have a bunch of gas stations. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really feeling these images so far. I think that's all they have, but darn, that's a shame because I would love to try one of these. But again, I'm not really feeling that image and I'm, I'm not gonna buy it just because. Check this out. We have a Outlander puzzle, 1,000 pieces. What brand is this? This is from Potter Puzzles. Interesting. I have to admit, I'm a huge fan of this series. I love it. Any of you guys watch this? It's fantastic. This is a little more expensive. We're going a little crazy here. This is $5.99. But again, not too bad. This is if you want to get a little fancy at Ollie's. And then we have this 1,000 piece puzzle from Masterpieces. This is called Protecting and Guiding Us. And this one is, how much are you? This is $4.99. Hmm. So far, that Outlander puzzle is the most expensive we got here. We got another Ibu puzzle here. This is called Woman in Flowers, 1,000 pieces. Wow, look at all these flowers she's laying on. I'd be sneezing my head off if I were her. 
that seems to be all those back there. This box doesn't actually belong here, but what do we got behind it? Oh, look at that. Another 1,000 piece puzzle called Pantheon of Women Artists. That's nice. I like that. And then we saw this 500 round puzzle already. And then we saw this one as well. That's it for those. And it's the same up there. We have this $5.99. Oh, we're getting up in price now. Come down now, Collies. This is a Milton Bradley puzzle. This is premium quality blue board. That's probably what you're paying the extra dollar for. And this is 500 pieces. It has a poster. Big Ben Lux. I don't know what that is. Is that the collection? I do not know. What is the name of this puzzle? Jungle Surf. Look at that. Where is she? That's crazy. She's so little. Those lily pads are bigger than her. I don't know what's going on there. And then we have this one here from Aquarius. This is a 500 piece. Again, look, there's kind of a splurging in Ollie's. Gotta be careful here. James and the Giant Peach. That's fun. I have an Aquarius at home that I haven't tried yet. It's a Harry Potter puzzle. I'm gonna have to try that at some point. And then what is this here? We have... A 300 piece birthday puzzle. Hippo Birdie to you. Hippo Birdie? Did I say that? Okay. Anyways, this is a small count puzzle. It's from the brand Workman. And how much are you? That's $5.99. That's if you want to go crazy here. Oh, oh geez, I'm knocking things over. It's the same puzzle. Um, yeah, so far that's that's pretty much what they have here. Not as big as of a selection as I was hoping for, but you know what? It's better than nothing, right? And I don't know. I think I see one here that I, I'm considering. So you know what? I'm gonna make my decision and we'll go from there. All right. I'm gonna do my best to film here because the music is really loud and I don't really want any copyright issues. So let's start here as best as we can. We have a 1000 piece Spice It Up puzzle. I can't actually pinpoint the brand, but that's certainly a cute image. I like this. And these are all $5 here. So that's fun and inexpensive. What do we got here? We have one called Vintage Phones. I love the colors on these puzzles. Check this out. This is from Hinkler Play. I believe that's the brand. Mind Bogglers Gold 500 Piece Jigsaw Puzzle. The Great Wave by Hokusai. I think I said that right. Look at that. That's beautiful. For $5, that's not bad. We got another 500 piece here. This one's called Bridge Over a Pond. That is gorgeous, but it looks like it'd be super challenging. Wow, that's, that's super nice, actually. I like that. Not bad for five bucks, but let's look down here again because we have more of these particular puzzles from the brand that I can't figure out. We have Mystical Collage, another 1,000 piece. And then we have Funky Beats. That's an interesting image. It looks like it'd be challenging too, though. Check this out. We got an Impossibles puzzle. This is 100 pieces. Transparent too. Oh my goodness don't see a brand on this either but this is also five dollars i almost said five hundred dollars i don't know why but we got it in blue and we got it in clear and that's it that's all you're gonna get there oh my goodness those those are interesting then we have these smaller count puzzles for kids we got amazing animals and discovered dinosaurs 150 piece puzzles these are also from hinkler and they're really nice too i like the packaging oh my goodness this one is 100 pieces, modern classic puzzle. This is wooden. Oh my goodness, that looks like it'd be super hard. Look at those P shapes. Oh my goodness. We also have it in this design as well. Oh, and this one is 500 pieces. Oh my goodness, that's craziness. And again, these are all $5. I don't know what brand this is though. Oh, this is Games Hub, these impossible ones. Interesting, those are very interesting ones. We have this Cardinal puzzle, 300 piece of The Office. Got some of these cereal box ones, which we've seen many times before. Check this out. This is a textured puzzle, it has multiple textures. It's 48 pieces, and for 48 pieces, it's pretty darn heavy. My goodness, the music is, is destroying me here. I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video, but I'm, gonna, I'm hoping it's not going too crazy. We got a Squishmallows 500 piece puzzle here. 
guess from Jazzwares, I guess. Oh no, wait, it says Buffalo Games, haha. <laughs> I lied. That's cute. I love Squishmallows, they're so cute. We have a Sherlock puzzle with a Barbie, 1,000 pieces. That's cool, not bad for five bucks. And we got this four puzzle pack, 48 pieces in each. This is fun for a kid. This is Disney's 100th anniversary. Hmm. What are these? Oh wow, check this out. This is 500 pieces. Look at this pasta. I love pasta. It's called Shapes of Pasta and the brand, I think I've seen this on the, some of the other boxes. The RMS, I've never heard of that. I don't know what that is, but that's what it says. And I must say, I really like this packaging. That's fun. We also have one sushi roll. This is a panorama. We got Howdy Cowgirl. That's fun. And then we have Antelope Canyon. Look at that. Oh man, that looks like it'd be challenging. Wow, that is nice. Oh, check this out. We got Pringles here too. That's fun. It's 200 pieces. Interesting. And we got some floor puzzles as well. 36 counts. And again, some other kitty ones here, 248 foil puzzle. Oh, and I'm dropping things. Check this out, I just noticed this one. This is a holographic puzzle called Happiness. It's 500 pieces. And that's also from Hankler as well. That looks like it'd be challenging too. They got some, they got some interesting selection at five below. We've got these as well. Look at this one, this is a 250 piece puzzle count. What is this? Paladin? Is that the brand? I don't know, but this is Harry Potter and it's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love this. It comes in a nice tin too. They also have this with BT21 and Dungeons and Dragons. It's cool. And then unfortunately I'm very short so I cannot actually grab these up from the top. We got some Pokemon puzzles from Buffalo. We got Stitch of Disney. And then we also have these shaped puzzles here as well. They're all 500 pieces. They even come with puzzle glue. That's interesting. What brand are these? Can I reach it? Oh no, I'm too short. I can't, guys. Oh well. Maybe next year I'll grow a couple of inches. Who knows? But anyways, oh look at these here. I didn't even, I didn't even notice these. This is a 300 count of bread. The zodiac signs of Brett, to be exact. This is a small puzzle count, five bucks as well. And this is a Seiko. Interesting. I love that image. It's fun. And look, we also oh, it's charcuterie. I love charcuterie. Good thing I had lunch because my stomach would be making lots of noise right now. That's so fun. And then we have the zodiac signs of cookies. Oh my god, it keeps getting better. And that's it. Oh my goodness, I love these. I wish there were a bit of a higher count, but you know what? That's some good quick fun, right? Oh, let's check this out. 500 piece jigsaw puzzle zodiac signs in a little drawstring bag. This is cute. This is one of those RMS puzzles too. I like that. I like the packaging. It's nice and simple, shove it in a drawer or something. That's fun. And that seems to be it. I mean, we have some of these tin can puzzles for kids that have 48 piece counts. We got Ninja Turtles, Stitch, Peppa, Marvel, some other small puzzles as well. Yeah, I mean, not a bad selection for a five below. I've never actually looked at their puzzle selection before. I mean, quite honestly, I didn't even know they had puzzles here, but you know what, that's good to know. I'd be curious what the quality is like with some of these brands that I haven't heard of before. So you know what, I'm, I'm gonna take a few minutes and think about this and you know, we'll go from there. All right, so that was fun. I have to say, it's it was nice to kind of go puzzle shopping again. You know, as I said, it, it's been a while since I've bought anything for myself. So you know what? I'm also glad and quite proud of myself that I didn't go too crazy spending money. I could have spent way more than what I did, but you know what? This is great. I'm, I'm super excited to share them with you. So you know what? We're just going to get right into it. So the first store that we hit up was Ollie's. And as I said, a lot of views have mentioned it to me. You know, the selection wasn't as grand as I was hoping, but you know what? It's better than nothing, right? So anyways, the first puzzle that I picked up from Ollie's was, of course, it had to be one from Eboo. Because, I mean, come on, with that price, you can't go wrong. And this one is called Berlin Life. It's 1,000 pieces. And it's 23 by 23 inches when it's completed. 
Now, the reason why I picked this one up was because it reminded me so much of my very first Eboo puzzle. And I, it was a Venice puzzle. So obviously this has to be from, you know, like the same collection or, or whatnot. So I was really excited to see this one. And of course, this one, you know, stood out to me out of the bunch because, I mean, look at this here. What is this? I'm guessing there's like a flea market going on or something here. I don't know, but all I know is that those french fries look pretty darn good. I'm not quite sure why there's a bear hanging around eating them, but you know what? Who knows? It doesn't matter. I absolutely love the colors. I love all the details. This one's going to be so much fun. And I think I, if I remember correctly, I did enjoy my, my first experience with Ibu. I, I don't remember it being absolutely perfect, but then again, I was still, you know, fairly new to trying out different brands and whatnot way back when. So you know what? I'm curious to see if my thoughts are any different this time. Now, I know they did have the 500 piece round puzzles there. And I would have really have liked to pick one of those up, but to be honest, none of those image really hold me in. They just, they just weren't my kind of images, so that's kind of why I didn't pick up any. I just didn't want to pick it up just for the sake of picking up a round 500 piece puzzle. But, you know, hopefully the next time I go to Ollie's, they'll have some more of them there. But aside from that, the other puzzle that I picked up from there, this was the last one that I got. I only got two from there. This one was from Masterpieces. It's from the Simple Living Collection. It's 500 pieces and it's 19 by 14 inches when it's completed. The artist is Bonnie White and it's called Ice Cold Lemonade, which sounded very fitting for this kind of day. It was kind of sunny and hot where I was, so a, a nice glass of lemonade would have been nice. But anyways, I love these kind of images. They're just so fun. It just looks like storybook, very country Americana kind of stuff. And also the fact that it's it's an actual picture of my daughter and I selling lemonade near our house. I mean, this is fantastic. It, it just couldn't get any better. Now I do have a number of masterpieces puzzles in my collection, but I don't think I've ever seen any kinds of puzzles boxes like this. That, that was very hard for me to figure out what to say. I don't know why. But anyways, I'm not actually sure if the quality in these kinds of boxes or collections are any different from the ones you know you would typically find in the larger square more solid boxes it, with masterpieces so I don't know I'd be curious to compare to, to compare the two and you know see if there's any differences between them especially with this one only being $3.99 original price looks to be $7.99 and I do know masterpieces or at least the ones that I have are more than that so I don't know maybe you do get a different experience with these kind of masterpiece puzzles I don't know but we certainly will find out in the future so between those two puzzles at Ollie's as I said the Ibu was $4.99 and the masterpieces was $3.99 and after tax, it was a total of $9.52. Not bad. You know, that's my kind of savings. But you know what? I didn't stop there. I went next door down the plaza. I saw there was a five below there. And I figured, you know what? I haven't really scoped out a five below before. So, you know, maybe they had puzzles. And lucky me, I did find a nice little section with a pretty good selection of puzzles. And I actually picked up three puzzles in the end from Five Below. Now, to be honest, I have could have walked away with a lot more puzzles from Five Below. But I really didn't want to go too crazy today. I still wanted to stay within budget, even though I, I didn't originally go out to go puzzle shopping. I had to buy groceries. But, you know, anyways, I'm rambling now. Let's just get into what I have here. Of the entire selection that they had, which... I say entire like it was massive. It was okay. But of all the puzzles that I picked up, um, one of the ones that I got, I'm going to start with the smallest count puzzle here, is one from Seiko. And this one is called The Zodiac Signs as Charcuterie. It's 300 pieces and it's 15 inches by 11 inches when it's completed. And the artist is Stephanie Stilwell. Now, I've never actually seen Seiko puzzles in this kind of packaging before. It's a much thinner packaging, um, obviously uh, less expensive. I'm going to assume um, lesser quality puzzle here. These say they're made in China. I believe the 
typical Seiko's are made in the USA. So, you know, there's definitely going to be a quality difference here. But aside from that, I mean, I just couldn't help out of the bunch picking this image because, I mean, look at this display of food here. This I, I absolutely love charcuterie boards. We got salami, soppressata, pistachios, cornichons. Yeah, I love pickles. This looks absolutely delicious. And I love the colors in the artwork as well. I mean, this is a, a fun little puzzle. This is going to be some really good quick fun. And this one was $5. I Actually, they were all $5 at five below. So aside from that one, the other puzzle that I picked up was from the brand RMS International, I believe. Actually, I don't know. This says another great product by Graphics. So I don't know. It could be any one of those two. But anyways, this one is called Spice It Up. It is 1,000 pieces and it's 27 inches by 21.5 inches when it's completed. Now this actually comes in a pretty nice box. It's nice and sturdy. It actually looks quite fancy, you know, I dare say for five bucks. But I mean, again, out of the bunch of puzzles that were in this, you know, brand packaging, whatever you call it, this, this puzzle image stood out to me the most because, you know, it has to do with food here. Hello, I love salsa. I like hot sauce. Chili mayo is great on a burger. In regards to the brand, I mean, who knows what this quality is like. This is manufactured in China, so, you know, who knows? Might not be the greatest, but we'll see, right? And then the last puzzle that I picked up from Five Below was, I must say, the, the packaging stood out to me the most. And this one is called Sushi Roll Panorama. It is a 500 piece puzzle and it's 34 by 17 inches when it's completed. And the brand from this one also seems to be RMS International or as it says here, another great product by Graphics. Who knows, once again, it is also made in China, but then again, I'm starting to see the pattern here. Anything you buy that's you know pretty inexpensive is most likely from China. But anyways, aside from that tidbit, I mean, I love this image. I love the colors. I love the different pieces of sushi. Dumplings are one of my favorite foods, as well as fried rice. You know, there's, there's just so much good looking stuff here. And again, the packaging is fantastic. It's a nice, solid tube here. I mean, this is great stuff for five bucks. And yeah, jumping back to the image here, you're probably saying to yourself, you know, Mandy, didn't you just say that you had lunch when you were filming in, in, the, in the store? What happened? Well, it's... I think you can safely assume that my lunch wasn't very good. But anyways, aside from that, as I did say, these puzzles from Five Below were $5 each. So in the end, that's the Ollie's receipt. What, where's my receipt? So with tax, those three puzzles came out to $15.90, which for the grand total for the day, for you know my first time shopping in two, three months, or who knows what it is, I only spent a grand total of $25, which is absolutely fantastic when you're, you know, for a grand total of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five puzzles. That's, uh, that's super bargains to me. And I do know that I have mentioned on a number of occasions, yes, I did get a job promotion. You know, money is not so much of an issue, but you know what? I can't help it. That's, that's just my natural budgeting habits. I'm, I'm not planning to go all crazy and whatnot. I'm, not yet, at least. But, you know, I still enjoy finding those bargains every, every now and then. Not every now and then. I love finding bargains all the times. And another thing that I do enjoy doing as well is seeing what the less expensive puzzles are all about in terms of quality and overall experience. So I'm super excited to try all these puzzle, puzzles and, and see what they're like. I mean, I've, of course I know what Eboo's all about, but you know, in terms of the five below puzzles, those are gonna be some, some interesting ones to test out soon. But anyways, guys, have any of you broken your no puzzle shopping streak or anything like that recently? And if so, did you go nuts splurging, you know, buying a bunch of puzzles and whatnot, or were you still, you know, you kept it cool? And also let me know down below if you have shopped at Ollie's before or five below. Was your selection about the same like what I had or was it even better or w w was it non-existent? I don't know. I'm curious because I would like to find more Five Below's and Ollie's locations in my area and check those out as well. Because I mean, 
at those prices, I, I do hope that I could find a bigger selection at those. But aside from that, if any of you here are new to my channel and you want to see what I have to say about these, you know, less expensive puzzles, be sure to subscribe. And also let me know down below, which one of these puzzles are you most interested in seeing me try out sooner rather than later? But anyways, guys, I need to continue on with my 3000 count puzzle challenge because considering how long I've spent on it, I still feel like I haven't done anything. So you know what? I'm going to get busy now. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.